plein air painting. What's all the hype about? If you've never tried painting outdoors, I want to share with you my top five reasons for giving it a go. You're gonna love it. Number one, do it for the change of scenery. Normally on a typical weekday after my kids are dropped off at school, I'm in my studio editing videos, writing emails, working on paintings, all the usual things for a YouTube artist to be working on. I love my job, but it can get really tiring doing the same things over and over again, indoors, at a desk, not really moving my body. So today I'm going to the mountains. So I've just parked my car. I'm at the National Center for Atmospheric Research in Boulder, Colorado. I've never been here before. I can't believe I haven't. The view already out my car window is spectacular. I can't wait to get started, jump into this hike and see what I can paint today. Getting outside does wonders for your soul and can really get those creative juices flowing. Check out this view. It's incredible. So I decided I'm just gonna do my hike without my huge backpack full of all my painting and filming stuff because I want to enjoy the hike without feeling like I'm weighed down by 30 pounds of equipment. I'm gonna do the hike first and then paint after that. I love to hike because I get to enjoy the sights smells and sounds of nature while being active and getting my heart rate up. It's also a great way to get some vitamin D and to explore and scope out potential new painting spots. In fact, that leads me to reason number two that you should try plein air painting. Do it for the reference materials. If you guys have watched a lot of my videos on my channel, you know I often use free reference photos from sites like Pixabay or Unsplash but it is so much better when you can use your own source material. Using photos from Pixabay or some of those other free websites is fine. And I do it a lot because honestly, I can't always find a picture of a zebra from my own reference photos or, you know, some of the more exotic things, it's really helpful to have someone who's already taken the photo for you. But in the case of landscapes and nature, honestly, Try to take your own photos. I really want to use my own reference photos for a lot more of my projects in the future. So I took a ton of reference photos of waterfalls and mountains and all kinds of beautiful things. So even if I don't end up with a good painting, I got some great reference photos to work from. And so I'm super excited about that. So let's see if we can find a spot to paint. Reason number three that you should try plein air painting, it's to document your experience of a place. When you're on vacation, or in my case, trying out a new hiking spot, what better way to fully immerse yourself in the memory of a beautiful place than by studying it with the loving observation of an artist? Most people will never study a thing as closely as an artist does, while also feeling and smelling and hearing everything around you while you paint. When you look at your painting years from now, you'll be transported back to that experience by all the memories you made. Reason number four to try plein air painting. It will help improve your painting skills. Now you're gonna notice that it's very sunny out today. That might change. You never know, the weather can change in five minutes here in Colorado. So I'm going to start by sketching on the big shapes of what I see really fast. That's what I'll do first. And then as the colors or the lighting starts to change, I can adjust as I go. Plein air painting presents all kinds of challenges. Trying to paint something from life is very different than painting from a 2D photo. For one thing, it's a lot harder to crop. You have to make a decision about your composition, narrowing down the broad expanse of whatever's in front of you to the space of a small painting. Then you must do a freehand sketch without the help of any crutches like tracing. You have to learn to paint fast since you have to work with changing light and weather conditions sometimes wind and bugs, potentially rain, glaring sunlight. It really takes your skills to the next level. And reason number five for trying plein air painting, you will have a story to tell. Now anyone can paint from a photo, but what's so special about plein air painting is that regardless of how your painting turns out in the end, you have a unique story to tell about it. There's a lot of decision making that goes on when you're painting from life, so much more than when you're working from a photo. Because I'm a fairly inexperienced plein air painter, it's not obvious to me necessarily always what decisions I should make. It's something that I have to learn as I go and hopefully get better at the more I practice but I think that's partly what makes it so exciting. Never know what your takeaway will be from the experience. 
and it could just be an awful painting, but you rarely regret going out and getting after it and giving it a try. So if this is something you want to get into, I so encourage it. It's to me the perfect combination of experiencing nature and the outdoors and using my artistic abilities and my desire to create all at the same time. So I get to copy the ultimate creator and that makes me so happy. Even if you run out of time and it ends up looking like a frothy watercolor, <laughs> don't worry. It was all worth it, right? You got outside. Getting outside and just being in the moment is all part of the artistic process. So that's really why I'm out here. So what are you guys waiting for? It's time to grab your paints and get outside.